Hello, my name is Chris and I'm with Finale Inventory. This, in, this video is a quick introduction to importing a sales order into Finale Inventory. You might use this feature if you were, for example, a, taking large orders from your customers uh, by exchanging Excel documents and email. And once they'd finalized their order, you wanted to bring that into Finale to quickly create an order without having to rekey any of the data. So let's get started. So this is the home page for Finale Inventory. And I'm going to start by creating a new sale to represent my sales order. So I'm going to come over here to New Sale. Use the default order ID that's been assigned by the system. I will choose the customer that I previously entered for this order. I'm going to specify that I'm going to be shipping it out of my Warehouse 1, and I'm going to hit Save Now. So far, everything is just as if you created a, any other order inside Finale. And now it's time to actually bring in our data from Excel. I'm going up here to the upper right to the Import Order link. I'm going to click that. And similar to the other places where we are importing data into Finale, there's going to be three steps. First, I'm going to copy and paste the data from Excel. Second, I'm going to preview the data to make sure it looks good. And then third, I'm going to get an opportunity to do a final review and commit the data. OK, so let's go over to Excel. This is a spreadsheet that I made up in advance that contains the data I'd like to import. In this case, I just have three columns. The product ID, which is always required and needs to refer to a product that already has been created inside of Finale. And then one column for quantity and one column for case quantity. When, you, when you're set up this way with a quantity column and a case quantity column, the quantity column refers to open stock individual items and the case quantity refers to items that are packed using the standard packing for that product and requires that the product have been previously configured with a packing as part of its data in the system. So I'm going to select and then copy the data and then go back over my browser. I'm going to then click and then paste the data into Finale. As soon as I pasted the data, I did that with a keyboard shortcut, I get an opportunity to preview. I see that five lines are going to be imported and one header line is going to be ignored. As always, make sure that you have a single line of headers at the top so Finale knows which column is which. We have product ID, quantity, case quantity, and the numbers all look right. All the lines are imported. So I can hit next. Now it's going to give me a final chance to commit it. When I commit it, it will replace all the orders, so lines in the current order. So for example, if you were to import from Excel into an existing order, you'd want to make sure there wasn't any information in the order items that you wanted to keep because they're all going to get replaced when I hit this button. So I'm going to do that now. And there we are. It automatically has saved that as well. And it, those lines are now populated into my order. So you can see it's pulled in the description of the products, the category of the products based on the product IDs. It's picked up that this was a case pack 36-1 for this product because that was already specified and it picked up all the list prices correctly out of our uh, product information that we previously specified. And this order is ready to go. At this point I can work with it like any other order side of Finale. I can reserve, ship, do all the stuff you would normally do. Thank you for taking a minute to look at the import order procedures for Finale inventory.